As you know, we're here in Haverford Township, and I'd like to start by commending the Haverford Township Police, of course, uh, Chief Viola, uh, the Criminal Investigation Division of the Office of the District Attorney, of course, Philadelphia Police Department, because it's an example of how the agencies in different jurisdictions work together in order to bring justice here in Delaware County. We have custody now of Derek Rollins. He is here in this building in custody. We obtained him today from the city of Philadelphia. And I first want to start by indicating that we will be prosecuting the Philadelphia case. We will be handling that. We have an agreement with the district attorney's office in Philadelphia because of the continuing criminal episode uh, from him in the Overbrook Park section of Philadelphia, 20 minutes later coming into Haverford Township and then committing the murder in Haverford Township. We recognize it because of the close proximity in time, close proximity in location, and because of the continuing criminal episode, we will be handling both cases. Today, we're filing charges against Derek Rawlings of first-degree murder, second-degree murder, murder in the third degree. We're charging him with the two counts of attempted murder in the city of Philadelphia, as well as aggravated assault. We're also charging him with robbery, and we're charging him with possessing instruments of crime, as well as firearms violation, firearms not to be carried without a license, as well as prohibited persons not to be carrying firearms. You may recall this incident occurred on July 29th. It occurred shortly after 6 p.m. Haverford Township Police were summoned to the 2300 block of Haverford Road in regard to gunshots and a victim. They immediately responded, started giving CPA to John Lee. Unfortunately, John Lee was deceased. He was transported and pronounced dead at Lankanal Hospital. Haverford Police then immediately got together with different departments, the Criminal Investigation Division, and started an intense in investigation. Part of that investigation revealed video footage of the time that the defendant was walking in the area of the 2300 block of, Haver of Haverford Road. That continued, and the, uh, the identity of that individual was not known at the time. However, his picture was placed not only on social media, but all the news media agencies in this room and throughout the Philadelphia market. At that point in time, we came to learn that two neighbors in the city of Philadelphia in the Overbrook Park section had an encounter with Derek Rollins. That encounter was described as one of the neighbors observing the defendant peering in to the back of a neighbor's house. At that point in time, he called his neighbor friend. They got together and they approached the defendant. They were in the vehicle. They watched him get out of his gray Volvo. They approached him. They pulled next to him and they asked him what he was doing peeking in the back of this house. He then ignored them. They asked him again. He pulled a gun out of his waistband and fired 17 rounds at a car that was fleeing away from the scene. Four of those bullets struck the car driven by the neighbor. They're lucky, very lucky, that they were not killed. He got into the gray Volvo and drove after them, pursuing them. They were able to get away from him, and then he continues his criminal killing spree by going into Haverford Township. And we're not sure why he approached John Lee. We're not sure why he waited and then got behind him and approached him in an apartment complex, which was the residence of a friend of John Lee, but he did so. And his killing spree didn't end at that point in time. Apparently he wanted to kill somebody that day and he killed John Lee. He shot him twice and then fled the scene. On video footage, we have him fleeing the scene after the shooting. At the scene, we have two 40 caliber bullets, casings, that were retrieved. We also had Philadelphia police retrieve the 17 casings at the scene just minutes before in Overbrook Park. And ballistically, Philadelphia did a tremendous job of matching those two bullets. Those bullets were deemed to have been fired from the same weapon. 
Also, we later learned through investigation and because of the social media, as well as all of the video footage and the news, that the two neighbors identified him and contacted Haverford Police through Philadelphia Police and indicated that the same individual that shot at these two individuals, these two neighbors, 17 times, was the same person that was wanted for the murder, the suspect of John Lee. Thereafter, through an intense investigation that continued, we learned that there were neighbors that heard shots. These two neighbors were working in their yard, and they heard shots fired. They came out. They had the wherewithal to write down a partial license plate. And there's some theory that robbery may be a motive. But the problem I have with robbery being a motive is that he callously shot at those two neighbors in Philadelphia and tried to kill them. And then comes 20 minutes later, and he's walking down um, the, in Haverford Township, walking down Haverford Road, and then just callously approaches this individual and guns him down in cold blood. That's a problem. And, and I don't know if he randomly uh, uh, selected his victim, but I do know that he, he, he did rob him, but it, robbery could have been an afterthought at that point in time. We know that Derek Rollins then was identified in a photo array by both of the neighbors, as well as being picked out by his girlfriend as being the person in the video footage. We have overwhelming circumstantial evidence that demonstrates that John, excuse me, that Derek Rawlings is the individual that murdered John Lee and fired 17 shots at the two residents in the Overbrook Park section of Philadelphia. Therefore, he is being charged today. He is one dangerous individual. We cannot identify a motive. Although he's charged with robbery, it's because we were able to determine that although he didn't take the gym bag that John Lee was carrying, he did take his cell phone and subsequently used that cell phone. So he's being charged with robbery. But we can't even begin to imagine why he killed that innocent man who was just heading to his friend's house. At this point in time, before we take any questions, I'm going to turn the podium over to Chief John Viola. I'd just like to thank at this time uh, the Philadelphia Police Department, the U.S. Marshals, uh, Delaware County CID. Without the cooperation of all these agencies, we wouldn't be able to bring Derek Rollins to justice today. Uh, this was a tireless investigation uh, from the time it started and, and until it came to conclusion last week. And also the help of the news media, who called me on a daily basis, who kept us in the news every day. That information being out there on a regular basis generated more tips for us. So we all work together to bring this to a close. We're happy to have this dangerous criminal off the street and, and, uh, and bring this to justice. So uh, Detective Long, Detective Jay, uh, from uh, Delaware County CID and Haverford Police were the two lead investigators in this case, and all of the officers and detectives who worked together along with Delaware County the District Attorney's Office. So uh, we're happy to be here today to make this announcement that he is in jail, in custody. Well, obviously, we, we don't see this type of crime in Haverford Township. It's had a great impact on our community. People were very concerned uh, that this happened in, in this area at all. So it, it was very important for us uh, to uh, work at this to bring us to a close. Uh, we've been in constant contact with, with uh, Mr. Lee's family, uh, tell them what's going on and keep them apprised of, of our investigation. So uh, they're happy at this point. There is some closure. Uh, obviously, when, when the trial is finished, we, we hope it'll, it'll come to a conclusion with a long jail term. So it's important to our community that we, we get these things uh, under control and, and persons arrested as soon as possible.